So the if we do the first one, they give you the graph. It's like the easiest on one, two, and three. Why? Because they give you this line and they want you to write an equation in slope intercept form. That means you need two things. You need an M and you need a B in order to write in Y equals MX plus B form. And they give you a line that is parallel to yours. Again, parallel means same slope. So this slope on the line that they give you is 2, which means that your slope is also going to be 2. If they told you that your line's perpendicular to it, then it would be the opposite reciprocal of 2, which would be negative 1 half. But it's parallel, so it's the same exact slope. So we know our slope. Okay? And then they say our line passes through the given point. They give you this point right here. This point is negative 2 for x, negative 3 for y. Now, we need the b value. They don't give us the b value. They give us the x and y value. You guys with me? Yeah. And we know we need to write it in y equals mx plus b. So all we have to do is plug in what we know to find out what we don't know. So what is it that we know? We know the x and y value. So instead of y, I'm going to write what? Negative 3. Negative 3. So I'm going to put negative 3 equals, instead of m, what am I going to put? 2. So put 2 right there, and then times x, but instead of x, what am I going to write? Negative 2. So let's put negative 2 right in there. And of course, the plus b is there because we're going to solve this equation for b. So let's do the math. Negative 2 times 2, that's negative 4, plus b equals negative 3. And you want to solve for b, so let's add 4 to both sides. And we will get b equals 1. So the b value is 1. Now that we know the m, and now that we know the b, we could safely write our equation in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. There it is, y equals 2x plus 1. So again, whenever you see the words write an equation in slope-intercept form, you know you need an M and you need a B. Sometimes they give you the M and the B. Sometimes you need to find the M. Sometimes you need to use a slope formula. Let's go for number nine, which still has the same instructions. It says your line passes through this X and Y value, that coordinate. Your line's going to pass through that coordinate and is parallel to this equation. What does parallel mean? Same. Same. Same slope. So in order to write an equation in slope-intercept form, you need the M and you need the B. We at least know the what? The M, because they say it's parallel. So the M is 1 half. Okay? We need the B. How am I going to find the B? Plug everything into Y equals MX plus B. Let's write it down. Y equals mx plus b. I kind of drifted off away from point slope. If you like point slope, go for it. But let's go with y equals mx plus b. Instead of y, I'm going to write a 3. Instead of m, I'm going to write 1 half because it's parallel to the one that they gave us and that slope is 1 half. The x value is negative 4, so it's gonna, we're going to put times negative 4 and then plus b, plus b. So if I do this math, whether I use a calculator or not, half of negative 4, what's half of negative 4? negative 2. So my new equation is really 3 equals negative 2 plus b. And when I add 2 to both sides, I end up with my final b value of 5. b equals 5. So my b value is 5. My m value is 1 half. Now I can write my equation in y equals m x plus b form. y equals 1 half x plus 5. That's y equals mx plus b. See, it's not bad, huh? Now, let's try one from the bottom half of this thing. Because on the bottom half, actually the middle one's interesting. The middle one just says, state if they're parallel or perpendicular. Okay? We might as well do one of those. So, which one do you want to do, 11 or 12? 12. 11. Okay. So we have three lines right here, and in order to determine if they're parallel or perpendicular, uh, you have to check the slopes. Could you check the slope of this first equation? Yeah. What is the slope of this first equation? 
Two thirds because it's in slope intercept form. So the slope is two thirds. How about this second equation right here? We could, what's the slope here? Three over two. Okay, so the slope is three over two. Um, so, so far, are these parallel? Are they perpendicular? They're neither so far because perpendicular is an opposite reciprocal slope. So if this one's positive two thirds, this one should be negative three over two for it to be perpendicular. So, so far nothing, but let's, we still have a third equation over here. We still have a third equation over here. That third equation is in standard form and you cannot see the slope in standard form. So you need to change the way this looks to be able to see the slope, okay? So let's change the way it looks. Let's get the y by itself. So I'm gonna subtract two x, subtract two x. My new equation reads negative three y equals negative two x plus eight. My final step would be to divide everything by negative three to get y by itself. So divide by negative three, divide by negative three, divide by negative three. And that third equation now looks like this. Y equals positive two thirds X plus a negative eight thirds. Now, I don't really care about that B value of negative eight thirds. The only thing I care about is comparing all the different M values. And in this case, my M value is two thirds. So over here on the first one, we had the M value of two thirds. On the second one, we had the M value of three halves. And on the third one, after modifying it, now we could identify the M value of two thirds. So determine which ones are parallel or perpendicular. Out of those three, the first one and the third one are parallel. So that's what you would write. The first and third equations are parallel. Uh, so you basically need to be able to see all the M values. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do on number 12. I'll tell you what, you're not really gonna see that on the final exam, but you will see these guys on the final exam where it says write an equation in slope intercept form when they give you a point and when they tell you your line is perpendicular to the given line. So let's take a look at which one would you like to see? 18? Okay, so let's, let's try number 16 here. Um, they give you an X value and a Y value, and they tell you that your line will be perpendicular. Perpendicular to this one. So uh, uh, if you know your slope here is negative four, and you know that perpendicular, perpendicular means um, opposite reciprocal slope, you know that your slope is going to be what? Positive one over four. So our slope is gonna be the opposite reciprocal of negative four, which is positive one over four. Just to help you out here, the negative four is really a negative four over one, and if you change the sign and flip the fraction, it'll be positive four over one. So you have the M value, you need the B value, and then you'll be able to write your equation. So to find your B value, let's all plug it into Y equals MX plus B. So the Y value happens to be five equals M. M happens to be one fourth, and the X value happens to be negative four. So you put times negative four, and we still have the plus B. That's what we're gonna be solving for. Okay, just to clarify, guys, the Y value of five went right here. Just to clarify, that x value of negative four went over here in the x. That's why it came down right there. Uh, the m value of one fourth goes right here where the m's at. So that's where we got our, all our three values. Now let's do the math. When you multiply one fourth times negative four, well, first of all, positive times a negative is a negative. And yes, the uh, four and the four cancel. So you have a negative one right here, plus b equals five. And then you're going to get rid of that minus one by going plus one, plus one. So six equals B. So your B value is six. And now that you know the M and the B, now you can write your equation in Y equals MX plus B form. M is one fourth. X is X plus B, in this case, plus six. So there's your equation in slope intercept form. The more you practice, the easier it gets.